Welcome to Electron Online. Here we're going to take a look at compounded interest when the what we call com number of conversions per year is 12, what we call monthly compounding. So we're going to calculate the amount of interest earned every month, add it to the principal, and then of course you begin to earn interest on the principal already after one month rather than after a year or in the case of simple interest, not at all. You simply only earn interest on the original amount invested. So one of the ways in which banks used to lure customers is to advertise that they were compound monthly rather than yearly. Of course, back in the days before we had computers and fancy calculators, it was a lot of work to keep on calculating how much the interest was that was earned, so it was a lot of work. But banks were able to lure customers saying, you can earn more money with us if you come to us because we compound monthly instead of yearly. And then sometimes they would say, well, we compound weekly instead of monthly and so forth. So let's find out how much more money we earn if we compound monthly rather than yearly. In the previous video, we showed that if the number of conversions per year is one, meaning we compound the interest yearly on a $2,000 investment for three years at 5%, we would earn $315.25 of interest. So let's see how much more you would earn if you were to compound monthly. So here, M is going to be 12. M is, of course, the number of conversions. There's the equation we use, so the amount accumulated after three years is equal to the principal invested, which would be 2,000 times 1 plus the rate, 0 0.05, divided by the number of conversions. So in this case, monthly would be 12, and then you raise that to 12 times T would be then, of course, three years. So we raise that to the 36th power, okay? So you can see why you'd want to use a calculator for that. So we get 0 0.05 divided by 12. I work from the inside out. So that I add that to 1. And then I raise that to the 36 power. So I find my e, the x to the y button, 36. And so then you end up with, this is equal to 2,000 times the quantity, 1.16147. Twenty-two, thirty-one. Of course, do we need all those figures? Not really, but I just want to show you that if you use your calculator, you should get something very similar to that. If we then multiply the times 2,000, we get a total amount accumulated, A, to be equal to $2,322.94. So we usually round that to the nearest penny. Now notice the difference. So there was only 50. $315.25 of earnings, here would be $322.94 of earnings, so we'll earn about $7.5 more compounded monthly versus compounded yearly. So you can see it wasn't a lot of dollars, but it sure was a nice advertising stunt for those banks who were willing to calculate every month, they could lure in customers claiming the customers would make more money. Of course, the difference between $315 and $322 isn't really a lot, but the psychological effect is, look, we compound more often, you can earn more interest with us. And for a while, that tactic did, uh, did win some customers over for the banks who are willing to do that. And that's how we calculate compounded monthly interest. And on the next video, we'll try compounded daily and see how that makes a difference.